Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Asha'Allah, Kwame Asha'Allah. Hey man, just want to give all praises, glory, and honor doing to Yahweh Shem Yoshai as always, man. Another great day to have uh, this word installed into our minds. And may Yahweh Shem Yoshai never take this word and this truth away from us. Um, and we're going to reap the benefits of it more so later on in the kingdom. But it, it, it's good to know what's going on, to know how the world works. Just to be aware of your, your surroundings and your environment. And you have to have a spiritual eye to understand all those things. And now before I get started, I just want to give all praises, glory and honor. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And that do teach well and have taught me this truth. May Yahweh Hashem Yashai be with you in the spirit. Kwam Yashallah and Abad Babal. That's right. So um, I want to share this... Uh, article here from CTV News. I'm not going to read it, but um, just more proof that uh, we are the men of the Lord, um, uh, the ancient men coming back, uh, the men of old, the men of understanding, <laughs> um, the prophets, the seers, because we're telling you things before it happens, and we told you that these things were going to come to pass. And through your ignorance, you people, you simpletons, you've called us conspiracy theorists, you called us madmen, you called us bums. But we are not conspiracy theorists, because when you go into theory, it just means to speculate. To observe and reason without firm evidence. That's what it really means to do. That's what it means. That's what theory means, okay? We're not theorists. We're into prophecy. We're into saying things before it happens, and that comes through divine inspiration, through Yahweh Bashim Yoshai. And that's how we're able to tell you these things. Now it says, How long will Ontario's Crown 1 9 certificate program last? And they're saying, guys, it's going to last till um, in, the, in, the, in the spring of 2022. So this is the first day that they're bringing out this certificate. Today is September 22nd. And obviously Rob Ford, he lied because in the past he said multiple times that um, he wasn't going to bring forth a certificate. And now he's bringing, <laughs> now he's doing it. Now he's, uh, <laughs> now he's backsliding. And um, obviously um, he's a deceiver and you can't, uh, you can't take these guys seriously. Take everything they say with a grain of salt. But he lied to you people. And now you people are having second thoughts. Oh, you know, I shouldn't have took, I shouldn't have taken, oh, oh, the Maxine Waters. Oh, now I need a booster. And oh my God, the Delta and the Moo. And oh, now I should have listened to that crazy nigga. Oh my God. I was on the corner. I should have listened to those old men that were on the corner, which, uh, by the way, those are the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, which they've been bringing out this truth for decades. And now you guys are having second thoughts because um, now you know, now you're starting to realize what we've been saying is coming to pass. And that's on you. Now, I just want to bring out what theory is because you people call us conspiracy theorists, right? But let's look up the word theory because theory and prophecy are two different things. And they have two different meanings. So now let's get theory. It says conception, mental scheme contemplation speculation a uh, looking at viewing a sight show spectacle things looked at from to consider speculate look at spectator from fear of view now it says let's go to the very bottom it says a sense of intel intelligible explanation based on observation and reasoning <laughs> And we don't do any of those things. First of all, we we don't speculate when it comes to the truth. <laughs> we don't spec. We don't spec. Uh, we don't speculate. I mean, this one. We don't speculate, and we don't bring forth speculation. We don't do any of those things, and um, we, we don't uh, give an explanation based on observation or reasoning that comes within our own mind. 
We, we don't do that. We come out of the scriptures. We only observe and reason through these scriptures. We filter it through the scriptures. Let's get the word speculate. 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 Form a theory or a conjecture about a subject without firm evidence. And a lot of you people, when you come up to um, uh, the camps, when we're out there, or even on the comment board, you say, oh, well, how, do you, how could you, could you really prove that? Oh, can you really prove that, man? How do you know? You have no proof. You have no proof. Yeah, we do have all the proof. We do. It's just that you can't see it. Now, I'll get the scripture for that. This is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence. Did you hear that? The evidence. Did you hear that? The evidence of things not seen. Yeah, because the things that we're saying cannot be seen. But through faith, we can see it. Through faith, through belief. You know what comes with faith or the evidence, which, bring forth, which brings forth the evidence of things not seen? You know what that comes with? It comes with visions. It comes with dreams. It comes with you um, getting the gift through divine inspiration of Yahweh Bashino Shai to decipher these scriptures and bring out the hidden message, messages that are written in this book. So that's what it is, man. So we do have evidence, and that comes through faith. And that's why we're we're able to know the mysteries. So you see, you people, you're you're caught up with the tangible things that you can touch, that, that you can that you can feel and and observe with with your natural five senses, your your carnal five senses. But we're not using the, those carnal five senses. We're using uh, the sixth sense. We're getting in tune with the sixth sense. We're going. We're tapping into the spiritual. And that's why that's why you people you ignorantly call us conspiracy theorists because you're you're more caught up on the physical things the more the more the physical the physical evidence the tangible evidence but the Lord ain't dealing with that the Lord ain't dealing with that so we proved that point I just proved that I proved that with spectacle all right let, let's look at words that are similar gamble venture wager invest play the market punt yeah we ain't gambling over here we're dead serious we're dead sure we're dead sure and now everything we've we've been saying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemil Shai starting with the elders and apostle, apostles of Great Millstone everything we're saying is coming to pass so it wasn't a gamble <laughs> it wasn't a gamble so now we move on let's get the word prophecy because that's what we deal with we deal with prophecy we don't deal with theories, guys. Prophecy, the function of a prophet, which another word for a prophet is a seer or a visionary. And a prophet, they say things before it happens. They just say things before it happens. Inspired utterance. Uh-oh. Inspired utterance. Wow. Inspired. So you know what uh, you know what inspire means? It means to breathe, right? So the Lord... He gave us the breath of life, which is this truth, this knowledge, divine inspiration, divine breath, to bring out this word. Let's get a precept. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, which that means Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Let me read that again. All scripture, that includes all of the Bible, King James 16, 11, and the Apocrypha. It's given by inspiration. Let's see if it has a good definition for inspiration here. Let's see if I can get something. Maybe it'll give me something here. The uh, Putnutso. Strong's G 2315. Theanustas. Oh, Theanustas. Not even Theanustas. <laughs> Gotta work on my Greek. So it says, inspired by the power, or inspired by Yahweh Bashim Shai, the contents of the scriptures. Divinely breathed in, given by inspiration of the Most High. And you can go more into this when you uh, read Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, when uh, the Most High, he breathed in the nostrils of Adam. That represents him getting the knowledge and understanding, given the law, statutes, and commandments, right? And when you have those things through faith, okay, 
you can you can basically uh, say things before it happens. Okay, so uh, let's get that here. So it says all scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High, and is profitable for doctrine. That's what we've been giving you: doctrine, the hundred percent truth. <laughs> no shortcuts, no loopholes, a hundred percent truth. For reproof, yeah, reproof and rebuke. Reproof and rebuke for correction, yeah, because we reprove you. For correction, we correct you in your ways. For instruction, we tell you what to do through the Bible in righteousness. That's right. And we've done this all in righteousness. We've done all these things in righteousness. And that was given to us by divine inspiration, by Yahweh Bashim Yoshai to do these things. So that's what we deal with, man. We deal with inspiration to breathe. And it says the prediction of future events. And that's how we're able to predict the future. And what did the prophets? What did the prophets really do? They, they, the prophets. They were set up to really interpret the will of Yahweh Bashim Yoshai on what he's going to do to that particular person or nation. And most of the time, when the prophet showed up, it was bad. And that's all we've been telling you. We've been telling you bad things. Well, we've been telling you good things too. That the kingdom of heaven is going to come. That's a good thing. But uh, before that. Bad things have to happen. So we, we, we say a lot of bad things. Uh, and we tell you that Babylon's future is very grim. <laughs> it's very grim. And it sucks. And you Edomites, you're going to go down hard. And you're going to catch a hell of a bludgeoning by Yehobah Shimei Oshai. And you other nations, you're going to finally be put in your place. And know your position on this planet. You're going to finally be put in your place. Now... Let's get the word inspired. Inspired of extraordinary quality, as if arising from external creative impulse. Of air or another substance that is breathed in. Inspired air must be humidified. And that's what it really means to be to breathe in. Let's get the word inspire. Okay. So inspire, this is the action to fill. To prompt or induce someone to do something. From Latin inspirare, blow into, breathe upon. Figuratively inspire, excite, inflame. To breathe. The Lord, he's breathing on us. And that's why we could say things before it happens. So that's what it means. That's what inspire means. So this is of divine inspiration. I just read it to you. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. And that's what we're giving you through these videos, through us going on to the highways and byways. So, so we are not conspiracy theorists. We are not conspiracy theorists because we don't deal with speculation. We don't deal with speculation. This is the real deal. All right, so let's get a let's get some scriptures here. Let's get Habakkuk chapter two verse three. Habakkuk chapter two verse three: For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. You see, uh, back thirty to twenty years ago, or twenty to thirty years ago, when uh, our elders and apostles were out there. A lot of things weren't popping off. Things weren't happening. Because it wasn't for that time back then. But now, the appointed time is now. The appointed time is now. And now you're starting to see things happen. So back then, it seemed like things were tearing. Things were going slow. But that's because it wasn't for that time. It's for this time. And that was prophesied over 30 years ago. And that's what the prophets did. So they're the real prophets, man. They are the real prophets of the Bible. They are. Because when you when you go into the to the to the prophets in the Bible, they spoke decades upon decades, man. Jeremiah's what I think Jeremiah and uh Isaiah, they spoke they, they spoke for 40 years. <laughs> 40 years of the truth. 40 years of the truth. Right? 40 to 30 years in the truth, man. And um, you, you see the same thing happening to our elders and apostles. Same thing. 
<clears throat> so it says, and not lie. Yeah, because the Lord is a power that cannot lie. And this Bible, it doesn't lie. It's about truth. Because that's, that's what holy means. Holy means separate and true. And this Bible is true. This Bible is, is a divine book and it's a historical book. And it tells you the future if you know how to decipher, decipher the oracles. The Lord has to be dealing with you. All right, so let's switch gears. I want to go to odyssey.com. That's what I went on. Uh, this was posted in the chat. My brother shared it. And uh, it's of this uh, this woman here. She is talking about uh, digital currency. You can find this on odyssey.com. You can type in uh, digital currency. Her channel is True Spreader. And she's not saying anything new. And really, she's a Johnny-come-lately. She's not saying anything new. It's just that you regular people now, you're starting to become more aware of your environment, especially you Edomites. You now you're heading down a, dark, a very turbulent road, a very dark path. Your, your kingdom is about to end. It's coming to an end. And uh, these Edomites, they know that now, and now they're trying to warn everybody. But you can't stop it. Hey, man, what are you Jake's doing? You Jake's, what are you doing? All the other nations... They're more they're concerned about the world. I'm not saying that Jake isn't concerned, but these other nations, they, they know the truth. They know what's up. You know, they're a bit they're more serious. And the scripture says they are wiser than Daniel, or thou art wiser than Daniel. But you Jake's man, you're still out here getting caught up with your Jordans, stabbing each other over a fucking chain, robbing each other. You know, you're you're hella ignorant. But the other nations, they're informed, man. The so-called Edomite woman, so-called, anyway, I don't know if she's Edomite or not. But um, in her video, I'm not going to play it because um, I could get uh, striked for it. But she just goes on to say that how things are looking now with the whole QNR codes and the certificates, the digital passports, the digital wallets, um, this whole social credit system that has been taken from China and now it's being implemented over here um, it's leading into a cashless society and uh, in order for you to be a part of that cashless society you have to get the CHIP the MOTB Revelation 13 Revelation 14 Karagma in your right hand or in your forehead and she brings out that information with different examples uh, with different news clips and etc um, she brings out different news clips that uh, about um, Sweden because Sweden they have implemented the RFID technology in, into their society also she talks about um, the interview that was done with um, Aaron Russo and Alex Jones on how Aaron Russo tells you the plans of the elites the Rockefellers on how they want to bring forth a cashless society and um, she just goes on to say man if, if the government brings forth this whole um, digital currency through a CHIP they're gonna have complete control over you so this is real man this is real and by the way the video is not that old it was posted a couple days ago so so the truth is here the, the, you know it's here it, it's not it's not lying <laughs> though it tear away for it it's not lying it's here and it's not it's not a conspiracy it's prophecy and I broke those two words down to you theory and prophecy I, I, I broke it down to you now it's here we're living it and yes I do have to sound like a broken record now let's get uh, Luke chapter 16 verse 8 and the Lord commended the unjust steward because he had done wisely for the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. And the children of light represents us Israelites and the children of the world represents uh, the, the, the other nations. The other nations, man, the sons of men. Primarily Edomites because you're in the power seat right now. Um, these Edomites, man, they study everything out. They study the Bible. They study history. 
They study old icons, hieroglyphics. Um, they read a lot of literature. Hell, they even study you Israelites. Uh, why do you think they call it the projects or the hood? Why, why do you think uh, the higher ups of society, they put you in the projects? Or that's what, why do they call it the projects? Because you're a fucking experiment. So they're studying you, man. And they're social, they're, they're social engineers, man. A lot of you people, <laughs> you're a product of your environment, and that's true. And they made it that way through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yoshai. So they are wise, man. They know what makes you click, what makes you clank. They know what they're doing. But that trickles on down to the regular people. Um, these Edomites in these Bible Belt states, they know about the RFID chip. They know about all these things. Just like how you see this uh, woman here, so-called Edomite woman, so-called, bring this information out. But you Jakes, you're still stuck on 1995. You're still stuck on Tupac. <laughs> you guys are bugged out. You Jakes are bugged out, man. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 28 verse 2 the point is in verse 3 it says son of man say unto the prince of Tyrus thus saith the Lord power because thine heart is lifted up and thou hast said I am a power I sit in the seat of the power in the midst of the seas yet thou art a man and not a power though thou set thine heart as the heart of the Most High and these um by the way, uh, the prince of Tyrus or Tyre, um, it really goes into um, King Ithabal. And um, there was another, um, also, here we go, also King Abibal. <laughs> My father is Baal. <laughs> wow, that's wicked as hell. And, um, and his son, Hiram the first. Right, but primarily, it's going into I Ithabal, the first. Um, he was a he was a, a king of ancient Tyre, which uh, he was actually in charge of. Well, when he came into power, um, he took over Tyre and he took over Sidon, which are Phoenician territories, which is in which is in modern Lebanon today, and. Um, when he got into when he got into power, he expanded his kingdom. He took over, and then he ended up becoming very powerful, and um, his heart got lifted up, as always, like the sons of men do when they get a position and when they get on high, they get proud, and that's because they don't have the Lord with them. They don't have Yahweh Bashem Yashai ruling over them. Okay, so so he did a lot of wicked things. He got proud, and now the Lord is speaking up against him. Uh, I just want to go into this a little, Tyree, because um, uh, he, he was a very um, powerful king, and he had a lot of riches. So, I'm going to read a little bit from here. Um, the area of Sidon was inhabited as early as 4000 BCE, and Homer in the 8th century notes the skill of the Sidonians in producing glass, glass production, made Sidon both rich and famous and the city was known for being very cosmopolitan and progressive just like how America is is like this today um, it's, a, it's a cosmopolitan and it's very progressive um, a lot of things come out of well things that are produced they don't really come out of America but they are the world's hegemon um, they they have uh, they, 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 they pretty much the they are the the U.S. dollar is the world's number one currency that they use, and everybody wants to come to America to do business. All right, so it's a very uh, powerful country. It's very rich. Well, really, they're in debt now, but we're at the end. But um, this is likened onto America. Now it says the Princess Jezebel, who later would become Queen of Israel as related in the biblical books of first and second kings which i told you that the bible is a historical book you have to know history to read the bible as well 
was the daughter of the king of Sid Sidon, which is Ethelbal, which is, uh, this is his name. It's just spelled differently. That's him. This is him who it's talking about. Was the daughter of the king of Sidon, Ethbal, in the 9th century BCE and married King Ahab of Israel to cement ties between the two kingdoms. The city is mentioned a number of times throughout the Bible, and both Yahweh and St. Paul are reported to have made visits there. Sidon is considered, which Sidon represents Tyree here because he took it over. He took it over. You can read the history on that. He took it over. And he, he ended up ruling over those kingdom kingdoms. But before before his before his rule, before he came into power, they were separate. Because those different um, city states were governed over a king, right? But he ended up expanding his territory when you go into the history. So don't get confused when it says Sidon and Tyree. Um, it, it's interchangeable at times. It depends who was ruling at the time. So you just have to keep that in mind. Um, the city, yeah, I already read that. Sidon is considered the seat of the Phoenician civilization in the most of the ships, which would ply the seas and spread Phoenician culture, were launched from this city's port. Yeah, so um, um, they, they were, they, they had a lot of ports, they had a lot of ships. It was a port, it was a port city. So that means there was a lot of riches, a lot of things that they can uh, sell and, and use. So it was, it was very rich. It was very wealthy, just like how America is. And that's why it says all the kings of the earth commit fornication with the whore. Now, anyways, it's now anyways, it says that's just some history on this. I sit in the seat of the most high in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man and not the most high. Though thou set thine heart as the heart of the Most High, behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. And that starts with their elites. They know who we are. They know the Bible. They know the chariots. They know about the chariots that you see in the skies. So-called UFOs. All those things. They know about how dangerous and terrible our power is. They know who we are as a people. They know they're going into slavery. They searched all these things out. They know the truth. And that's why they are known as the Illuminati, which is just Lucifer. Uh, that's why it says, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Well, let's get the word Lucifer here. In the Greek, a light bearer, which that's where you get the word Illuminati from. So they are light bearers. Uh, that's these luminaries that you see out here, the inner circle, down to these secret societies, all the way down, okay? Lucifer, shining one, morning star, Lucifer, of the king of Babylon and Satan figuratively. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? That's right, they've fallen from heaven, which heaven is just um, their highest state that they are in. They're going to fall out their highest state and they're going to fall into hell. O Lucifer, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? And they have weakened the nation with, through lies and deception and through destruction, pretty much. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Yeah, and they said they were going to do all these things, which they have done to a certain degree. They have put their um, satellites in heaven, their little space stations. But the Lord is going to destroy them, man, because they're puffed up. They're getting too big for their bridges. So the Lord is going to come back and destroy them. They've done a lot of wickedness on this earth, especially to the Lord's people, the apple of the Lord's eye. And in the sight of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, we are very precious to him. So he's going to destroy these other nations, primarily you Edomites. Alright, that's all I want from there. I want to go into the Revelation 13 because that's, that's what she was bringing out, bringing out. And this is all a prelude to it. 
is all a prelude. Revelation 13. And we're going to go to uh, 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That's going into the karagma. I, I'm not going to go into the word. You can go into it yourself. But that's at karagma. And uh, you're seeing you're seeing uh, you're seeing this play out a little bit, a little bit for this. Like you're you're seeing uh, you're seeing a prototype. This is a prototype. <laughs> this is a prototype um, because right now a lot of people they can't go out and do the things that they want to do if they don't have proof that uh, they have been crystallized. So if you don't have it, you can't go out. You can't go out and have so-called fun. You can't go out. You can't go to the gym. You can't go sit down at a restaurant. You can't go to the movies. You can't go to the club. You can't do any of that. So you're seeing a small, small little tidbit here. A small little example. Small little prototype of this taking place right here and he caused all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name and that comes in the form of the QR code the CHIP and like I said it's like a prototype it's a prototype to what's coming to the real thing, CHIP. So you won't, won't be able to buy or sell, and it's gonna get much more serious as this progresses. It's gonna get much, much more serious. Yeah, that's all I really wanted to bring out. Hope this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yoshai. Um, hopefully this was edifying. Until next time, all praises, glory, and honor do unto Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Shalom.